been out here on a Sunday morning. I know it's not always the easiest time to get up, certainly after a fun filled Saturday night. What's up, But once again, we really do appreciate it. Um, it it's been a year. Uh, like somewhere in that area of the room in a similar speech uh, talking about how what we did to get started. I mean everybody knows about the unfortunate story of the Floyd Field and what everybody went through, how the community was torn apart and we stuck together. And most of you put your faith in me from the very beginning. And Words really, really can't describe how appreciative I am for that. Uh, and, and to see you all here again a year later, and to see how the family has grown exponentially, it is truly something amazing. It, it, it really, really is. Uh, we took this spot uh, just because we knew it was close. I mean, we started off as a hole in the wall, uh, and a year later, a hole in the wall is that we have air conditioning and a shower now. Yeah. Uh, but we're growing, and, and we've seen that. Uh, this operation started as an idea. Um, I remember when I got the call, seeing what happened, uh, and what the plans were moving forward, and immediately, literally that following day, I saw the spot next door. Uh, and then a week later, I saw this spot. What we stood in. Remember, Chris came out, Gil, Kenny, uh, and some others, and we we all more or less collectively decided this was going to be our new home. Uh, so we started off with that idea uh, and some tremendous, tremendous, tremendous support. From there, we we grew. We grew a lot faster than I could have anticipated. Um, most of you only really saw the gym towards the final stages of, of the build-out. I mean, a lot of us really weren't there for the beginning, um, but that build-out was really, really, really aggressive. Uh, we, we literally got in there July 1st, and we said in a month we're going to be open for classes. In August 1st, we had our first class. Since then, since starting with only Christian and myself as a coach, we've grown. We've taken on two more coaches and more staff. Uh, Lisa, where are you? Come here. Woo! For those of you that don't know, Lisa has been helping us out here by the desk, um, really helping us stay organized and functioning. Come here. Hiding. <laughs> uh, being able to function a lot better on a day to day basis um, as a coach, it's Exhausting is an understatement for what it's like to get the classes running, but also keep the gym running on the back end. And Lisa's been a tremendous help uh, in that regard. So let's give it up for Lisa. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for, 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 being, for being there. Of course. You want to hug too? <laughs> <laughs> you need a tissue? Can I have a tissue? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. You're on your own. <laughs> uh, before we took on Lisa, we added another coach to our staff, Caesar. Come on over. So, uh, I've been working with Caesar uh, in the evening classes. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Caesar and I worked together uh, back in 2015. We worked together back in 2015. We shared a lot of the same ideals. Uh, as, as coaches, what we thought a CrossFit gym should be, how it should be run, how relationships with the members should go. And I, I, I was beyond happy after I got in touch with Caesar uh, that he was going to be able to be a part of the family and be able to help us out. It's, it, it's been really tremendous. I know you built an amazing bond with a lot of the members. I mean, we wish you could be there in the morning and, uh, and see some of those people in the morning. But I mean, it, it was, it's really been amazing. Thank you. Just, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Christian. I'm over here. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so, when we first started opening the gym, I, 
honestly did not know how I felt about having Christian parents. <laughs> and and me, maybe it was just ignorance on my part, but the truth is I really didn't know. I, I, I really didn't. From the first day that we were here uh, building out the gym, Christian, Christian showed up with his mace and was ready to just break stuff. And <laughs> like, that demolition. Uh, he, he was here from the, really the very beginning. And he, even though Christian is, is a coach here, he really treated the gym like it's his own. And the more I got to know Christian, the more I got to work with him, the more I started to see him as more than a friend, more than a colleague, but as a brother. He's really, really been a tremendous, tremendous help. Uh, we all know he can be a little rough around the edges at times, <laughs> but um, I, I really couldn't ask for anyone better to, to help me out with everything. And I'm looking forward to bigger and better things. So seriously. Yeah. Yeah. And finally, there was, we, we all know that saying, behind every great man is his woman. Oh. So, oh, yeah. so we, we, Rachel has been there from the very, very beginning, from that very first idea, from when I first called her on the phone and told her what I was going to do, where I was going to look at things. She was a big supporter. And even before that, I've had aspirations of having a CrossFit gym, building a community, building a family, uh, and she was right there with me. She didn't think I was nuts. She didn't care that I was on the verge of turning 30 and living in my parents' basement. <laughs> <laughs> she was able to see all that with my dogs. She was able to see past all that uh, and support me. And it's been a year and a half that she's stuck with me through this. We've moved in together in Brooklyn. Now we found we found a place, um, and she's put in tremendous amounts of work to help get this gym operational. A lot of you don't know uh, the extent that Rachel works to really make this gym function. And without her, we literally would not be here today uh, because I don't know what I'd be doing. I'd still be in my parents' basement. <laughs> <laughs> if you only knew the hell I dealt with the hair of my dogs down there. It, it was just. It, it was, there's probably still hair down there, but it was just a fight every single day. What's up, baby? What's up? You want to go down? All right. <laughs> there you go, baby. Right. If I can... yeah. And <coughs> we hit our milestones uh, for the first year, and w without her, it wouldn't be possible. And I can't even begin to imagine what the future holds, but. It's something I want to find out. Thank you. 